Hey guys, my name is Cineac and welcome back to another episode of Snow Town here in City Skylines. Well guys, last episode we uh, we did a few more expansions. Most importantly, we created that whole new area because we tried to increase the population a little bit so we could have a little bit of a bump up in unemployment for today when we build our brand new industry. And that industry is the fishing industry. We also expanded the, uh, expanded the metro line too, which leads now, or the second one, which now leads all the way up to the airport. And, um, damn, it's looking so damn good right now. I'm impressed. I really, really am. Now, since last episode, guys, what we've done is I've actually reclaimed some of the islands over here right now uh, to what we're going to be working with to create our fishing industry. I think it would be a really, really good idea to kind of uh, utilize these islands and uh, get like this kind of industry up and running where we see all the boats going through all the little kind of nooks and crannies, the rivers and the shallow bits and then eventually coming out into the big river section into the sea and whatnot. It's going to be really, really, really good now. If Always, guys, if you do enjoy this, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. If you are new in here, then make sure you do subscribe so you're notified that next episode does come out. But I've kind of been simulating the game for um, for about a half an hour before we started recording today. And the only issue with traffic I've spotted is this here. Now, it's been a lot worse than this, but it's because a lot of vehicles are turning off here and obviously either going left or right. Now, what is happening is... This area over here doesn't really have an access to the highway. Only over here. So the junctions around here and that turn off at times gets overcrowded as vehicles are trying to get over to this area. So just a little bookmark. Some point in the future, I need to do something around here with an on and off ramp. I've got many, many different options in where I could approach one. But these guys kind of need one. And if, before I do do any more expansions over here... I kind of got to think about this little junction. It's going to get overrun. But anyway, my next issue is, is because I want to kind of set it all up over here, I do need a road that connects all these islands up. Now, I've been thinking about doing this road, the National Highway Road, which is pretty much like a, a, a two-lane highway in a sense. You know, they can go back and forth both ways. My only question is, do I have it come across up here? Or do I have it connected here? Now, let's weigh up the pros and cons. The pros is over here, there's so much more space I can work with, but it's still going to be a highway road that tears through all the suburbs behind the airport. Here, it's close to the export area and highways to get the goods to where they need to get to. But it's a longer bridge. But has that ever phased us? I mean, come on, we created these beautiful bridges right now. So yeah, I think I'll put it here. But I did want to put over here as well on an off-ramp section. So I think whatever we do here is going to be kind of like a little bit of a placeholder. So we will see what happens. Now, no, 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 no. I won't build the bridge from the get-go. But what I will do is set up all the roads leading over to all these islands. Now, the reason I want to get it connected by roads, because obviously we've built cities in the past that relied on ships like, you know, Oil Town, Fish Town. And inevitably... They don't like being isolated. <laughs> I've learned this more than anybody. They don't like being isolated. So i got to get the road network all set up. But rather than this new kind of like straight bridge is going to cross, we kind of like follow the natural path of the island. So like we might go over to here, to there, to there. And it might be then a good idea to run down to connect there. So we're always trying to do the shortest points possible. So that might be a good kind of idea to rock and roll with. So... My next question is then, how do we do this? Do we have it all elevated or do I have it... We kind of have to have it elevated. And I think I might do it by 5 instead of the normal 10. Let me just kind of see by doing this, how high is that? That's got to be high enough for a boat to pass under, right? Do we think so? Do you know what? I'm not too sure if it, if it will be, to be honest with you. How about we go up... Do you know what? I'll go to 8. Because I don't want it too high. I don't want it to look, like, ridiculously amazing. I want it to kind of be, like, a little bit natural. Yeah, it's, that's going to be fine for a boat to go across. And then if I bring this up to there, or should I create my bridge going across first there? 
and then we'll hook up all the roads so that can go to there I'll then create a bridge that crosses just here so you can see where the curvature com kind of comes around and then with the roads that are on the actual islands themselves they can be I mean I could in a sense create small little communities that would be quite interesting wouldn't it now this is my next thing do I then bridge across here and then bridge over across that way so to get to this island you'll come across there to go up and around so if I did one there then I've got to do that one there or I could do two going across but then two might get a little bit complicated um now we'll, we'll kind of uh add in our own so I think we'll go straight from this point straight over now, granted, it is all elevated, but we'll keep it like that because the kind of thought process could be with all these elevated roads on all these little mini islands is like if it ever does flood and like maybe we could treat this as like little flood plains, at least all the roads are elevated. So let's see what we can get from this then. So this goes all the way to there. So it's not too far before I do have to connect it. So 36 by 12. So I know it's then a 12 marker. 12 by 12 and then we go straight down uh, here I'm not sure which the smaller side is going to be 9 by 8 All right, we'll just go for the full swing and a miss there there we go so it doesn't look like much now but when we fully built up this whole area I could have like small little communities little bits and bobs and stuff on these little islands it would look good. I might even utilize islands. So the whole fishing industry is not going to go on one island. So like I might have a little turn off road here. And we have like a little fishing dock or a fish farm on this island or something like that. It's like small little independent businesses all coming together in one big industry. It will be pretty cool. Pretty sweet. So over here then. I think we'll have the bridge take place. Like up on this side. There we go. So it keeps the mouth of the of the inlet pretty open. And then this is where the main bit of industry is going to be. So I think then I think we'll bring it down to earth at this point. So I go down to zero there. And we'll do it by ten. And what is it on? And then bring it across. There we go. So bring it out to there, and then we can have like a, this road, have a road that kind of tears through, and then connects up to this this one over here. So it's pretty much just kind of playing around and where you want these to kind of come into place. So back to zero. And bring this out a bit more. There we go. So ultimately, we want this to kind of bend around and go straight. But if I bring this... Yeah, if I bring that light to there, I delete back a bit. And 10 by 10 on the bend there, beautiful. And then that's pretty much gonna be there. So I, I might need a roundabout on this junction at some point. We just never know. It depends on how busy this area is going to be. But I could also definitely build like a beautiful little town or something over on this side. So if I run a highway going up just to there, and then maybe it can connect over to there or over to here. I don't know. We just don't know. Also, I can reclaim a little bit more of this land over here. It's all flooded and whatnot. But we'll, again, we'll just see how things go. We'll take each island step by step. One at a time. So that is going to be the short distance on this side. 20 by 20. And then connect. Nice, mate. I'm definitely going to build a small little town on this island. 100%. Okay, and so that's be our like little road connection system kind of going through these little islands. First, I'm going to do right now is get rid of the actual um, resources. There's farming land resource on this, which is turning the island slightly yellow. Which makes it look like yellow snow. And we all know yellow snow is not a good thing. <laughs> so get rid of all of that farm, that fertile land. There we go, matey. There we go. And right. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, connecting it further over them. We'll still keep it elevated over here. Now, I don't want it to go in a straight line across there. It's too close to the highway, isn't it? So, maybe I kind of, like, bring the road down and up slightly. 
Because I could utilize this island for something as well, which could lead up in that direction. So, okay, let's have the bridge take place maybe here like this on, on, on a diagonal. Alright, that's not too bad. It looks so much better when it's all built up because I'm building it for the first time. There's nothing around. We can't really see much of what's happening. Um, right, okay. So we bring this down because we're going to utilize this island as well. And I bring it out by 10. We bring this one uh, down as well. And then we bring it out by 10-ish. And so from that point there to there is the middle road that we're going to kind of follow up. So if I let this kind of sail up a bit, and then maybe if I bent that round slightly like that, that would be pretty good. Yeah. It already, it, it, yeah, that'll be fine. There's not going to be too much traffic over there, so I can create this almost as a borderline T-junction. Because I'm not really going to have much going on there to kind of stop these guys from running in. And, but it all depends on what this is going to happen up here. But that road network is coming into play. And then we run that a little bit straight. And I could either bring it to the tip and cross it over, or cross it over fairly early, and then run it off in that direction. So, I do have many options, many, many options, but that's a really good way in which we can connect these boys up right now. Nice. Uh, for now then, now this is going to be the only thing that I'm not going to really pay too much attention about from the get-go. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a very... Why won't that work? Have I, have I got an anarchy? Yeah. A very simple, very, very, very simple connection... Now, eventually, I'll do something a little bit better over here. I'll intertwine it or do something with it. Because I don't know how I'm going to do the on and off ramps generally around like, this area. So, I might incorporate it with the national road that goes over there. But now, we're all technically connected up. Now, we are technically technically all connected up. So, we get to work with this then. And we, we're going to pretty much see what we can pretty much do. So, I believe it's only the fishing industry that we don't need to zone. Am I right in saying that? Yeah, because we can place these pretty much anywhere that we want. Now, look at the abundancy of different types of fish that we could get. There's tuna up near the mountain tops right now. Is there any more tuna dotted around? Or is that the only little section? Oh, there's some over there, but that's a really far way away. Uh, none down here. Any over there? No. So we can have some tuna trawlers. There's a little bit there. Um, sailing up into this area and just picking out where they can. It'll be very skilled fishermen trying to get tuna out of those areas. We have salmon dyed around all up here too. Uh, we have anchovies all within the rivers. And we have shellfish within the actual river slash seabed itself. Which we have very different destined areas for different types of fish, which means not everything's going to be bundled around one another, which is going to be really, really exciting. So we need to pay attention to what we're pretty much doing. Now, we could do the generic fishing harbour, or we can do the specialisations. Now, the specialisations are a little bit better. We do get a little bit more money. And I think we'll start with a couple of anchovy. Is it the anchovy? The Yeah, anchovy ones, because they are all within the riverfront. So we're going to start with a couple of these. And there's 16,000 a pop. Money doesn't really concern us at this point. Um, so I think I'll do a couple along here. I might do a couple over there. Or should we use the anchovies for the little middle islands instead? I think that might be the way to go forward with those guys. And um, all the other fishers, uh, fishermen are going to have to travel quite far. I think the shellfish will surround these islands a little bit more. Because they can travel to the, the, the sea section just there a little bit better. So let's start a few of these around. So let me just double check that is the, the anchovy, yeah. So I'm going to start with uh, one there, one there, and then um, 
We'll do one there. So this is it's just gonna be dotted. There's not gonna be no localized industry. But we create a couple of anchovy fishing harbors just here. Now for these guys getting hooked up, it's just gonna be by a, a standard road. Now there ain't gonna be too much traffic. Or at least I hope there's not gonna be. So I can do something as simple as this. A little T junction on this national road. Which would be pretty handy for them. And of course that doesn't marry up too much or line up very well. So I get rid of the road. And then if I place I right, will anarchy that. Place our own bit of road there. What it allows me then to do is to bring this down. Six by six. And then we have the road that bends around beautifully, beautifully for it right now. Now this will be a little bit different, but I could create like a small little town or something over here. So if I brought the road going, you know, straight to a certain degree. And at that point there, actually we'll bring it up to 15. Bring that across to there. Let me delete this. So that's my straight road. And then we'll create our little bend coming from this. So 14. All right, let's go for the 14 by 16. So you get like a little kind of strip line there where we can do like a few houses, maybe a little bit of shopping area, commercial or whatnot. Not too much though because of that whole connection just here. Which is pretty nice. I'd actually, I actually like it. Very weirdly, I actually like it. Now we'll unhook each of these here. So I can then just come off them centralized. And that's going to be a little bit different. So if I just come off it a little bit. No, it's not really going to work, is it? So if I just came off it by straight, that kind of leads us over to that area. So they're now pretty much all set up. All I've got to do then is kind of dedicate or dictate their fishing line. But it's pretty much set up to then build stuff around it, which is pretty cool. So back to the fishing industry, we will then focus next on, so the shellfish is the, the one over here. Now, we'll dot, uh, I'm going to dot two just along here, so they can go straight out into the wilderness. We do have a little bit of salmon fish in there, but I don't think I really want to utilize any fish in here, because it would be just boats going back and forth all the time, and it will be kind of like complex and too overly populated in that small little area. And is having this directly against the, the the sea here considered a bit too fast-paced water? It's okay there because it's like an inlet. The water's going straight past. So I could always pump a little bit over on this side, but I could then save a little bit more over here for anchovy. So do you know what? We'll, we'll throw it down. It's not truly the end of the world. Do one there and then one there. So I drop four to begin with. And same thing for this. I uh, I want to unhook first all of the roads so I can build up anywhere I, I kind of want to or need to. And we'll have this road come out to there. And what I could actually do as well, because that's like a highway road, we could actually use this as being, let me delete back a bit there, as the normal road that comes out into the small little town that we kind of can build so if I go across to there and to there just delete this little section there and bend it a bit more so you can see where the zoning happens and it kind of completely bypasses the whole town that little section but of course we have all the roads leading up to it so that kind of passes by I wonder if it's possible to kind of lead in To a bit of a road connection which is fine and down here i mean i'm proper shouting for a uh a connection there so we got like, we get like the kind of like the sea road which is pretty nice and then this one kind of just like is all over the place <laughs> but i suppose that's where we throw in our own little road connection like i could do it like this 
So nothing's uniform, as it would be in small little historic fishing towns. And then I've got the option to just connect over every so often. And then we could build something from this area, which would be so good. So they're good to go. We have two types of fishing or fishes that we can two types of fish that we can now fish. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Uh, right now. So we got the anchovies and we got the shellfish. Again, all I gotta do is the fishing roots. So tuna. 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 Um Do I go for that now? It is a bit of a stretch to try and grab some tuna, isn't it? Uh, or do I focus on maybe some salmon first? They're a little bit easier to collect. Now, hmm. It's all about where do I place them? Really, isn't it? It really is because the amount of anchovies around right now. So, what is defining some of these areas? Now, the rough areas down here, you can see how it's all patterned off. That's where you can really see where the tuna's coming from in the fast-paced river. So, what's defining... Hold up. Didn't we have, like, a little salmon patch here? I believe we did. But what's defining the salmon at this point? Is it, again, the, the fast-paced water? Where's the thing that I see water flowing? There we go. So you can see where the fast paceness is. And I believe we can get a little bit more uh, tuna, sorry, if we defined the trenches a bit deeper. So let me just try something here. If I went for this little patch, this little trench there, does that make deeper fish, deeper tuna patch? We'll have to give it a moment or two to kind of hustle and bustle through. But we know where the salmon is anyway. So let's just focus on the salmon while that kind of happens. So salmon fishing. Um, these guys are going to be the ones that travel the furthest. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the most efficient line to do it with. Or maybe I can place some tuna fishing stuff over on this side. Yeah, this might be the better option. So if I dotted... I'm going to do three. Uh, do one there and yeah we'll do one further up as well so we'll do three to begin with is that there we go look we got a tuna patch right now so pause a second continue that kind of crevice kind of coming through and I can do like a the trawlers can kind of go around in a big loop trying to maximize those routes so this is where the local government right now is trying to invest in a fishing industry so they'll do what they can to make the fish thrive around these areas so create a little v there and then we'll see we'll just see what happens with those guys so again give them some time uh but we have a little bit of salmon patch over here right now when it comes to these guys so like always unhook or unhinge, whatever you want to call it. And it's close, but it's no cigar when it comes to this. So we'll just kind of create our own little bend. There we go. And these guys, where do they connect? All right, we'll just, again, create our own little bend and whatnot. So it comes off the highway like normal. It's all the different elevation changes right now. And yet sometimes I'm trying to build a bridge. But this is pretty cool, isn't it? It's not all crammed in one area. So we shouldn't see huge amounts of traffic. The only issue I could see is if I do build it up... To, I, again, this is what i got to be careful of. Because I might. I sometimes have a tendency to kind of overpopulate. <laughs> Easy on these islands, Seniac. Because the traffic will build up on this crisscross road here. But then I can set it for giveaway signs. It's then this little left-right turn here. But again, we no one's really crossing over each other too much, so we should be okay. We should be okay. We should be all right, mate. Right, got some salmon down there then. And again, I've still got to set up the roots. And uh, i got to give it time now for the 
the water to flow and for us to have like a solid tuna patch. <sighs> right, tuna, tuna, tuna. Where are you? Here we go. So, this is my problem. Do I set up the tuna fishing boats around here and just make their roots really long to get to the fish? It's only it's only really going to be trial and error, isn't it? It really is at this point. It's only going to be trial and error. And I'm just kind of thinking what island would be the best one to do it. Maybe this island will be the closest one over to it. So we can look towards maybe then extending uh, that road over. So uh, let's just say I came across. Nah, we'll kind of we'll make the bridge go happen over here. So it's plus eight. There we go. And we'll do it from there to there and we'll elevate our bridge turn in here and then I'll bring it down to zero like that I don't like that drop but it's okay it's okay right now so where is this? That is... Oh, it's really close. Yeah. So that will go with a... What was it again, sorry? A five. Okay, five by five. Like that. It's kind of lead over to this area. And then... It will eventually kind of connect over and go that way. So I bring it up to there, and it would kind of take a road off it. But I'm not liking the sloped angles of some of these. So let me quickly sort this out. Slope those roads a little bit better. Is this is the worst offender? I'm gonna go quite far back on that. There we go. So it comes down a little bit more natural. I like it. And then we're gonna add in our beautiful little tuna fishiness. Look at that trench we got now. It's a lot more defined, a lot bigger, so we can really utilize fishing in that area. And and this is obviously where we're going to get the tuna fish from. So we drop one over here. I'm going to squeeze one just there. And I'll throw one. There. So we'll have three of them. We've actually, so we've got three of each one, except for the um, the shellfish. We've got four of those. And then all the other little nooks and crannies is where we do the seaweed farms, the algae farms, and all that other kind of stuff as well. We also got to get the fish factories down and a load of fish markets around Snowtown too. So it's all got to come together. All right, that's almost straight. So I'm just going to... Oh, what have I put in there? A dirt road. <laughs> Sediac. Right. Why is it bridged? There we go. Oh, we should actually unhinge again. I always forget to do that. And do I create a bend to connect these guys up? Yeah, why not? Why not? And then I'll bring this road again further down. And then we'll create a connection or two. So if I come out by seven there, just so we got some form of a straight line. And then where should I bend it into? We'll bend it into that road. Seven by seven, it goes in. Oh, good. And leave it like that. Until we decide to build more stuff around this area. Or create another road connection. Because this highway is going to bend up and then kind of go over. So we'll play around with it to that extent. So that is then all the, the actual fishing stuff I want down. I just got to set up a couple of fishing routes now. And then we can start collecting that glorious fish. So, let's start with the shellfish then. Uh, come in then, and we'll start with this one. 
My anarchy is turned off, so I'm not going to trip over anything. And ultimately, we're going to bring it out. Let the trawler do what it's got to do. And this should be more than enough for that one. It should be. We can only cross our fingers and hope. Now this one... We'll let it sail up and around. Like that. Again, that one's a little bit longer than the other one. <laughs> uh, these ones are going to have to travel a little bit further to get to the, the, the fishing grounds that they need. But this should be, again, more than enough. I'm kind of over-delivering on some of these areas so we can guarantee a solid haul of shellfish. There we go. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to over-deliver. I've had to make those ones long because for a, quite a long time, they're going over anchovy fishing grounds. So we do have to kind of make them a little bit longer. Uh, right, these are actual anchovy uh fishing things <laughs> so i make these come out i make this one go down in this direction so it can really utilize this area There we go. This one will have it come out. The trawlers will bend down. Go through this little area here, which will be quite nice for them. And then if we can bend it around this one, that would be great. Oh, hold on. I just realized something. I'm crossing them over, aren't I? So that does a nice little loop of that little island there. And then this one over here. Alright, we'll take this on a little trip. around this island or what happened again it might be way too long for them but it's just nice to see them kind of sailing around all these little river runs which would be really good I, I know they're 100% way too long I know this guys I get it you don't need to tell me the comment section right now. But it's just nice to see um, boats just chugging along around all these little islands and stuff like that. It would be really, really good. The salmon and tuna ones right now are going to be a little bit more difficult to kind of get done. Because they're going to have to share the same line of river right now. Um, so, what do I do? Do I focus on... I'm going to focus on the actual tuna right now. And let's do it like this. If I can do a line there. So think about it. Each one has two lines. So I need six lines for the tuna fish. If I can set that up, then we can get them all uniformly lined up. They have their dedicated fishing route that they travel on. So that is two, four, six. And then another six for the salmon fishing. So one, two, three, four, five. Is it possible to get another one here? Six. So there's 12 lines there 
that boats can take. This is going to be a very, very heavily um, trafficked boating area. But there's six lines there, which can guarantee these... Uh, there's 12 lines, sorry. The guarantee these six fishing thingamajigs, harbours, have got their own guaranteed to and from route, if that makes sense. Oh, I'm hoping it makes sense. So what I need to do then is to start hooking these up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That one will go to there. This one will come down to here. This will go up to here. To there. And that goes to there. Right, so they're all now hooked up to their little lanes there. And I think what I'd do on this other side is do the salmon fishing first. That is a real good little tuna trench. So I make all the tuna boats kind of come up this way and then sail along there to come back down. But it's these salmon ones that I'm kind of a little bit worried about. So it's this is the one I'm taking it from. Hmm. I might have to reclaim a bit more water or something. All right, if I brought this up to... How far is... I mean, that is quite a long distance, though, isn't it, at the same time? This is where we might have to bring the anarchy tool in. Alright, get you to there. Who would have thought the hardest thing to do in, in City Skylines is to get like a load of fishing routes together? Now, that's quite a nice long stretch there of trying to catch salmon. So if I could just then make them turn around at that point, and then off they go back down to here, because they're going up and then they're coming back down. So that's got to be close to like 100% filled up, right? Has to be. Or if not, then what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing at this point? But this is going to be the interesting one right now. This is maybe where I'm going to have to anarchy a lot of it. So I'm going to put the anarchy on them. And we'll start with this one here. And right, we're going to have to kind of go up. All right, we'll bend up and round. And we'll try and tear through the middle of this as much as possible. Round it goes. There we go. And this is where we then have to anarchy it because obviously it's got to cross back past its route. And I'm going to anarchy it like that. And then we won't know any different. He says. He freaking says right now. So try this as well. So trying to maximize the amount of time it spends in the tuna depths. That one's done. The way I've done it as well, I might get boats going in opposite directions. Which, if that is the case, that's actually going to be a pretty cool thing. Oh, I made this one go a little bit higher and straight down. Oh, that was awkward. That was as awkward as they come. But we've got it down. So, you to there. 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 Oh, upside daisy. 
you to there. So then we bring this up to here, which connects to that one. That down to here, we're finally getting somewhere now. To there. You, there, up to here, there. I can't wait for this to be over. I literally can't wait for this to be over. We're going to get the issue arise at some point. They're not efficient enough, Senia. They're not efficient enough. And I'm going to be like, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. Leave me alone. But worst case scenario, I'm going to have to try and extend the tuna. Because they're the longest routes at the moment. Right. Leave me alone. So I think for the fishing industry now then, we just kind of get them generically set up. Like to where they're just exporting raw fish before we process them in a fish factory and before we do sell them to a fish market. So we got to get all the generic stuff set up first and like, you know, water and whatnot. So what we'll do, I'll follow the, 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 the kind of road because I know we're going to have stuff on these islands eventually. So it just makes sense to follow the, the highway first and then come off it. So when we do build over on these sides... We've got stuff set up for them. So straight down here first. And I'm actually quite excited to start working on like these islands. Because I don't really build. Oh snap, I've done the wrong type of pipe. Right, it's a good job I figured this out now. Yeah, but do fishermen really need heating? Guys. Aren't fishermen, like, always cold because they go out into, you know... Oh, it depends where they're fishing, isn't it? If they're, they're fishing in Alaska, of course they're always cold. If they're catching crab, yeah, they're going to be freezing, mate. But I'm like, if they're fishing, like, piranhas... I mean, I don't know why they would be fishing piranhas. But they're in, like, a tropical paradise. Or at least I like to think they are. Boom, 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 boom. Why are these pipes here red? You're not even upgraded. Stop lying. Man, these take so long to upgrade. Like, not in terms of, like, doing them all. I mean, like, from the moment you click on them to the moment they process. Right, okay. Sweet, mate. Let's get these connected. And then, voila! Do we have everything? Oh, hang on. We haven't done these over here. Right, they should all be now good. Yeah? Good. They just don't have power yet. So we've got great wind around this area. So we utilize a lot of the wind power from the at the moment. For the fishing industry. Oh, there's one more. So, great wind comes great responsibilities. And same here. I'll do a wind turbine there and just there in the nooks and cranny. Delicious. Over here. It's not too powerful, the wind. But those should power those just fine. One there. Do I drop one there? No, we'll throw one just here. So until we have like an actual dedicated setup, oh, that not have water. You do have water. What are you talking about? Not enough water. Like, what more do you want me to do? Space already occupied. What's going on? Like, I get it. Is it because I've took this off? Yeah, I think it was. Right. Will you have water now? Do I need to stick it out further to give you water? What is your issue with water? Right, there we go. The issue's now gone. <laughs> so, technically, 
right? Technically, our fishing industry is underway. Because they're now setting sail. They've now got the boats out in full force. Right? Oh, no, you don't have water. Right, let me just double check all the other ones. They're okay. Oh, you're not okay. Oh, and you don't haven't even upgraded over here. Right, okay. There we go. So, technically, we're now up and running. We got boats, some boats. Hold on. This is a salmon fishing. That is a tuna. Tuna boats are way bigger. I didn't even realize you got different types of boats in the fishing industry. They also, guys, they're also a lot faster. That is 50% filled already. Considering that it hasn't even gone up to turn to come back down. I've extended that way too much that I needed to. That's got 1% filled up because there's a little bit of tuna hiding in there. Um, that's already 41% filled and it's only got to here. <laughs> Making it go all the way around. Oh damn, boys. Oh damn. I bet you that's 100%, right? No, 65. Okay. Um, you, you're on the way back. You're 100%. So yeah, they're not, they're not the most efficient, guys. But it's happening. It's working. We're going to get fish for days right now. Fish for... How are you still compl complaining about not enough water? Right, I've just done that. To make you connected. Is that other one over here still complaining? No, that one's fixed. So, where are you? So, why are you still complaining? What makes you so special? Huh? What makes you so special? Damn fool. Uh, anyway. So, so yeah. That's now all kind of set up. We've got fish coming in, which means we'll slowly start to see this bridge. Oh, okay. Hold on. No, I've got water problems. Is it water problems or heating problems? No, nope, it's water problems. I do apologize, my guy. I do apologize. Right. Oh, wait. It, it, could it be down to the fact that this is so dry? And we're not pumping anything up in that area? What if I place down a water source inside of there? Right, now this is going to be very risky, but just hear me out. No, too risky. Well, if I put a water source... No, it's not going to work. It ain't going to work there. Right, let me delete this. Have I not noticed that before? Is that like a, kind of like a new issue? It might just be a new issue. So if I kind of went straight out, is that the same depth? I don't think it is. Is it a deep one? Well, if I do that then to kind of disperse the water a little bit better. I shouldn't have done that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, but what it allows me to do anyway is to drop down. Where's the water pump? Well, who are you? Freshwater outlet. Freshwater outlet lets out excess water in the system. It can be placed on dry land, creating lakes and ponds. Ah. That's pretty cool. Um, right, okay. So if I put that there, and then, oh, hang on, with the water heating, of course, to there. Now, because that's got an inlet there, all these three should be pumping just fine. Which puts my water back up to normal. My sewage is not great, but that wasn't the issue at this moment in time. So everyone should have water again. Right, everyone's complaining about heating, but that's because my heating stations are flooded. <laughs> but there we go. I do apologize, fishing harbors. I do apologize. So... 
back to business. Oh, look how busy this, this stretch, stretch is right now. So, yeah, we got some going up this way. Well, they're all coming up this way. Oh, no, they're all coming this way. How filled, filled up is this one? Okay, yeah, they're going to be coming back 100%. Good. All right, good stuff. So, yeah, let's get back to business then. So, currently, the fishing industry is catching fish, selling raw fish via exports. They're not selling it to Snowtown just yet. No, they're not. Um, I might set up and dot around the odd fish factory here and there. We've already got exports going out, as you can see right now. So it'll be quite interesting to see how busy these roads do become. They're going to drive straight down and drop it off as normal. Or at least they think they are. Here's one coming down right now. Where are you? So you are going, yeah, to exporting fish. Where are you going? Ooh. Hold on, where are you going? Don't tell me. Oh, I about to say, I about to say, don't tell me you're going over to here. So there, it looks like they're, they're just driving out of the region. And they're going to join over there. So that's why it's kind of important that we do get that connection to the highway. So they can just drive straight out. I know we have a little export area over there, but it looks like they just want to drive out the region. But yeah, we've got exports going out now, right now. Pretty sweet. We wouldn't have, we sh I don't think we would have, you know, cashed in any money just yet. No, not yet. But I do need to build down fish factories so we can process it into tinned goods, which makes it even more valuable. And I do have to set up as well um, fish markets dotted around Snowtown so they can buy the local produce from our fishing industry that is slowly becoming up and running. We're going to need to get. Some little small little fishing towns built up and set up. I know some of these routes are, are a little bit OTT. But it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. This strait is so busy right now with fishing boats. I like it. I actually like it. It's really good. I, you know. If there's any complaints, I ain't going to complain. Because I don't mind it. I honestly don't mind it right now. But yeah, we'll just see how time goes on. How much this gets kind of overly used. I do want to set up something that connects them all up. Got to create a little on and off ramp as well. As we lead over to this area. But we officially had the fishing industry now up and running. We Again, we haven't made any money just yet. It will take some time before we start seeing money rolling in. But we got to keep an eye on traffic issues as well as they bring them all out of the area. I could also lead a couple of these national roads out to regions like on these islands as really quick and simple ways to kind of export the goods so this road here could kind of come up bend over and go straight out uh that road is going to come up go straight over and go straight out see that, that's another way to kind of play around with it should be fun it should really be fun right we've got our first tuna fishing trawler on its way back to harbor Nice. We don't really have an efficiency uh, rating just yet. Uh, 100%, 100%, 100% apparently. Okay. As this one comes in, do we get a rating straight away? 100%. So, they're all right. They might be way too long for what we need. But they're efficient in terms of they do come back with maximum fish. That one hasn't yet, but that took a while to kind of get set up. But yeah, it's all good. It's all good right now. Any money being made? Still, still no. But I think on that note, we will end it for here. So unemployment should have dropped. It's at 5%. Okay, it hasn't really dropped much. How much jobs are they providing? Uh, okay, so 28 workers. So they all kind of got their old workers. To be honest with you, it's not an, a lot of workers I've opened up jobs for to be honest with you until i build all the other stuff gotta get set up all the fish farms stuff like that so i've got to get up and running uh the seaweed farm the algae farm and the fish farm we'll dot those around like places where there's no roots then we gotta get set up the fish markets and obviously the fish factories as well get things ticking along i might need to set something up in terms of like a public transport system to get people to and from work so i think in this scenario buses might be the way to go forward 
They really will. So I'm going to probably set up like a little bus terminal somewhere over here. Like what we did over there. Get it hooked up to one of the subway lines. So everyone's easy to get to and then they just travel via bus to these little islands. Should be pretty good. Anyway, guys, we're going to end it for here. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.